हेलो एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर श्वेता प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम मैनेजमेंट जगन्नाथ यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ प्रोडक्शन एंड ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट दैट इज फैसिलिटी लोकेशन फैसिलिटी फैसिलिटी लोकेशन मीन्स टू सेलेक्ट अ लोकेशन फॉर इंडस्ट्री और फॉर अ मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट्स सो यू हैव टू सेलेक्ट अ बेस्ट लोकेशन फॉर इंडस्ट्री और अ मैनुफैक्चरिंग यूनिट सो फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस what are what is the selection uh, what is the site selection and what are the causes of site selection site selection or facility location is an important activity as it decides the future of business a good location will reduce the cost of production and operations to a larger extent the reduction of cost of distribution helps in lifting either the competitive strength or the profit of profit margin of business locating a business involves large and relatively permanent investment if the site selection is not done properly all the money spent on factory or building will go in waste and the owner will suffer a great loss therefore the site selection for the factory should be selected very carefully while selecting a site it is necessary to consider all the aspects like technical commercial and financial and then select a site they may provide maximum profit so what are the causes of selecting a site fine <clears throat> so an expanding market or suppose if you are offering a new product or a contracting demand for the existing product or exhaustion of raw materials in a certain area obsolescence of manufacturing facility due to the appearance of new technologies the pressure of competence change in other resources like labor conditions subcontracted competitions or change in the political or economical environment or merger or acquisitions of the companies so these were the important uh, causes of site selection now what are the location alternatives expansion of an ongoing ongoing facility so if you are already doing um, already going in a business or if you are having already a site so you can expand that site only possible if exist enough space attractive alternative when the current facility location is good enough for the comp- company and lower cost than other options or you may start a new facility in a new area sometimes it is a more advantageous option than the previous one then what you can do next is you can shut down of a facility and starting a new one somewhere else or you can move production site from one plant to another plant so what are the different steps in selecting location at the very first step you have to decide you want to go international or you want to go to the domestic location then if you are going to the domestic location then what are, what is the reason and what are the factors there are so many factors which affects the reasons fine so we will discuss in next slide selection of the locality or community selection of the locality or community based on the availability of labors civic amenities for the workers existence of complement and competing industries availability of water and fire fighting facilities selection of site based on the urban site rural site or suburban site when we talk about the factors affecting location the first is, the first factor is availability of raw material when you are going to select a site or a uh, manufacturing unit for a particular product then the uh, required raw material should be available in the nearby area to minimize the transportation cost nearness to the market the market should be near the uh, the per, uh, potential market should be near to your factory availability of power availability of power fuel and other facilities should be uh, available in that particular location or site then the transport facilities transport facilities by um, why it is a uh, air transport or road transport or rail transport fine it should be near to the existing unit suitability of climate some product requires a uh, humid climate some required the cold climate uh, whatever the type of climate is required 
you should select that type of location for example in uh, when we produce cotton then uh, cotton uh, uh, in case of cotton production we uh, all the units are nearby the coastal areas because the coastal areas provides a good environment to grow cotton then government policies the government policies should be suitable uh, where the government is providing so many subsidies and facilities and government is inviting uh, startups to enhance and boost the employment status of that state and the competition between states so all these are the uh, factors affecting location then advantages uh, when we when we will talk about the urban area suburban area and the rural area we will talk about their advantages and disadvantages so what is the benefit of selecting urban area because when you will you are going to select a site uh, definitely that will come under a urban area or rural area or suburban area so there are advantages and disadvantages of urban and rural areas so good transport facilities are available in the urban area for the movement of raw material good and prompt postal and communication services are available banking and credit facilities are available services of insurance companies ample availability of the skilled and unskilled workers advantages of the vicinity of the market for the product due to the large population facility of the ancillary and service units which develop around the industrial strip of the city area development of the training institute of workers and management institute for exec executives put the city areas into the privileged position educational and medical recreation institutions are also available in the urban area certain specific municipal uh, services facilities like uh, water supply drainage fire fighting facilities are available in the urban area so these are the benefits or the advantages of the urban area now that is disadvantages of the urban or city area as we all know the cost of living is very high in the urban uh, urban areas so even at high cost sufficient land is not available due to high standard of living in the city area or the urban area the cost of labor is relatively higher due to possibility of changing jobs from one unit to another unit tendency of competitors to snatch away the good employees and the rate of labor turnover is high in the urban area or city area disadvantages of urban or city area the trade union movement is very strong in the city area militant trade union disturb the amicable industrial relations various types of taxes taxes are levied in the city area certain municipal restrictions to put uh, for example uh, disposable of waste treatment of affluent waters elimination of air pollution so these are some uh, disadvantages now we will talk about the advantages of the rural site or rural area as compared to the city area the land is relatively cheaper in the rural area the larger plots are available so we will get the more land due to the lower standard of living the rates of labor are relatively lower as compared to the city area the labor force is more or less stable which reduce the rate of labor turnover because in the urban area there are so many options available to switch then this uh, then as compared to the city area the land is available in cheaper rates <coughs> the industrial relation between labor and management are relatively amicable the local taxes which are found in the city areas are pretty, um, practically non existence in the rural area the municipal restriction which are found in the city areas do not exist in the rural areas for example height of buildings slum and dirty residents are not found in the rural areas and the rural areas conducively conducive to good health of the workers now the next part is disadvantages of the rural area transportation facilities are not available in good uh, and are not available in good condition and sufficient quantities banking and credit facilities are also not available absence of insurance facilities storing and warehouses facilities are not available in rural areas passenger transport facilities are not available in the rural areas then like in the city area the advantages of ancillary and services units is also not available in the rural area such units are very far from the marketplace so this will increase the cost of distribution and 
of finished goods sometimes the means of transports are not available if it is not possible to tap advantages of industrial training institute or management development program which is possible only in the city area it is generally not easy to get skilled labor in the rural area municipal facility facilities like water supply drainage fire fighting facilities are also not available in the rural areas there is absence of recreation facilities good education institutes good and sufficient medical facilities fine then there are some advantages of sub, uh, sub urban area sometimes uh, what you got uh, you got a site uh, between the rural and urban area so what are the benefits of that sub urban area land is available at the cheaper rate as compared to the urban area adequate land is available for future expansion of the units the machines can be installed horizontally and still the provision for future expansion can be made the infrastructure facilities like road water supply drainage banking warehousing insurance etc are developed government developed government and municipal authorities or industrial associations as city area is nearest the skilled and unskilled both type of labors are available if possible to tap the advantages of industrial training institute management development program research institutes etc which are available in the nearby area the nearby city area provides a substantial market for the products of the units educational institutes medical facilities and other recreational facilities are available in the suburban area itself so this was all about the facility location Thank you very much.